Welcome folks to Plumbing with Tim. On today's show, we're going to take just a few moments and explain to you about the best exercises and practices when it comes to trying to prevent sewer stoppages inside your home. All right, so if you're a homeowner or you're a renter, chances are pretty good sometime or another, sooner or later, you're gonna end up having a backup in your sewer system. I'm not talking about just a local toilet stoppage. We're talking about your main lines and sewer lines or septic lines that are underneath your house going out. Hey, maybe you're one of the lucky people out there that haven't had this kind of issue in your house. Or maybe you're one of these homeowners that finds themselves on a regular basis having to call a plumber, ponying up the dough, $200 or so, for them to come snake out your line. Don't you think to yourself, wait a minute, something's got to be wrong. I need some help. Okay, so indeed, if you do happen to live in an older home that was built before 1970, you've heard me say it before, chances are pretty good you still got old cast iron pipes underneath your home for your drain lines. We're not talking about the water lines, we're talking about the wastewater drain lines underneath your home. Unless you have had them replaced already, then you're in good shape. This old dinosaur came out of a home from 1962. It's completely cracked and shot. It's because they started probably about 15 years ago having problems with sewer stoppages and they end up having to have guys come out and run their snake through there. After a while, the pipe just couldn't take it no more. That's why you need to be careful with these old homes. I myself personally, when I come out to someone's home and I know they have the old cast iron pipes, I make them sign a waiver saying that I am not responsible if any damages happen to that pipe. And at that time, they can make the decision whether they want me to run the snake through there or consult someone else. Now, it's not just these old homes with cast iron pipes, people having problems with stoppages. You can have nice, new PVC. I've been to homes, especially down here in Central Florida and stuff like that, that aren't even five years old that are having problems with PVC. And here's the reason why. Here in Florida, we live at sea level, okay? The seed homes that aren't even five years old, like I said, having problems. The water table is very high, so they cannot bury these pipes that deep. What ends up happening is the foundation of the house will start settling because we live on a big sandbar, and they will start pushing that weight down on top of the pipes, creating bellies. And when you have bellies in pipes, that's where things can hang out, like grease and business, and this is where stoppages are usually prevalent. Back to these old homes that have the cast iron pipes or even PVC pipe. We're here by the laundry, all right? This also contributes an issue for your drain lines, not just locally in this part of the drain system, but it'll end up reaching out into your main lines. And one of the reasons why is most of us generally enjoy using liquid detergent. Liquid detergent is a byproduct of crude oil. What this stuff does is it goes down through your pipes and starts coating it and makes it a sludge, turning a regular size two inch pipe into about half inch to three quarter inch pipe. And these newer machines these days pump water at a very high velocity. And if the water is being forced down a pipe that is now that small, it can't take it as fast as it would with a clean pipe which can make other parts of your home back up. I've had to consult with customers and tell them, look, get rid of that liquid detergent and use powder. It still will have effect to a minimum, but it becomes more soluble and easier for it to digest its way down through those old pipes. So sometimes you have to change your habits unless you're willing to pay the money and have all that old stuff taken out. So I don't need to remind you, you've heard me harp on it many, many times. Never use feminine products or wipes, flushable wipes. Any of that stuff, tampons, any of that is all going to end up being a huge disaster for these older homes or homes that have problems with their drains because that stuff does not break apart. Some customers with these older pipes and stuff have had to switch over from the nice fluffy cushy toilet paper to the Scott's single ply. And the reason why is because the single ply paper, even if you use more of it, it breaks apart when it hits the water into particles and it, does, it flows freely on out with the business. This other stuff here 
it tends to not break apart very well. It might be more comfortable to use when you're doing your business and stuff, but it can hang up on sharp edges inside of these old pipes or not make it all the way out because you got a belly in the pipe. Next thing you know, you do another flush, another flush, and it all ain't gone down, and now you got a stoppage happening. Let's not forget about having a garbage disposal in the house as well. That's bad business. The dirtiest drain in anyone's house is a kitchen drain. And then you put a garbage disposal in there and you have old pipes. And this is a true recipe for disaster. So the moral of this story is if indeed you know you have old cast iron drains or you have drains that are failing because you keep on spending money for a plumber to come out and snake it out, don't waste any more money doing that. Call up a licensed plumber, have them come out and do a sewer camera inspection and give you a recording on a thumb drive. Take it to your insurance company, show it to them, and ask if there's any way your insurance covers helping pick up some of the costs of getting that old stuff out of there and on with your life. There is no end-all, fix-all solution to preventing every single sewer stoppage from happening. I understand that. Things happen. You have the holidays, there are a lot of guests over, somebody flushes something down the toilet they shouldn't. How about after a big meal? You're washing all the plates and dishes up and stuff, and the grease and the garbage goes down there, garbage disposal. You're gonna end up getting a stoppage, I understand that. But, if you're careful and you use simple preventative maintenance practices, they are very avoidable. If you do indeed have pipes that are going bad or are failing or you know they're old and you don't have the insurance company behind you or the money, then you're gonna end up having to just deal with it. And you better have a checkbook ready for the plumber. If not, you're gonna have to use some of these simple practices like the thinner paper, get rid of the liquid dish detergent, get rid of the garbage disposal, and they may end up prolonging the inevitable. But sooner or later, those pipes are going to end up having to come out of there. If not, you're going to be a broke person. That's all the time we got for today, man. I appreciate you guys all hanging out and listening to me blab a lot of for a few moments. If you found this helpful in any way, or you have a friend or neighbor or family member that's experienced this problem, share this video with them. Make sure to leave a comment, concerns, and whatever it is you have in your mind in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. Listen, a lot of these issues can be prevented. Nobody likes to be without the comforts of life. But then again, nobody likes to have to pay a plumber to come out and do something they didn't have to in the first place. Thanks so much. Till next time, this has been Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.